Hey guys, I just want to show you uh, a few more things with regards to images in Microsoft Word. Now, I'm just going to hide this. That was not supposed to be there. You did not see that. I'm going to show you a couple of things, okay? First of all, we're going to look at aligning objects in Microsoft Word. Now, here I have two images, okay? And they're both free moving, so I can kind of put them wherever I want. But if I'd like to align these two images to each other, um, sometimes you've got this cool thing which just snaps into place, but that's if uh, you are aligning something to a page, and you can see where the borders sort of just appear, and then it just snaps there, and that's great. But what if if I want to align these two like perfectly in the center, what I do is I select both of them. So I just hold down my shift key and I click on both of those one at a time. And uh, here I am in a picture format. Don't forget picture format. And here is my alignment option over here. Click on align objects. And there you can see I have all kinds of alignment tools. Align left, center, right. And I'll show you what happens if I click these. Okay, so if I say align center, it aligns both of them centered, which I don't want to do that. Let's go back there, align to the right. Obviously, that's what that does. Or I can align in the middle, which does that. Now, it was very, very minimal there, so I'm going to do that again so you can see it really move. Align, middle, boom, now they're aligned in the middle. So that is exactly in the middle with that. Okay, so those are your alignment options. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing that you need to know about is grouping. You can group things like multiple objects into one object. Let me show you. So I've got these two selected. Click and shift click. There we go. I can just right click. This is the easiest way to do it. And I just say group and group. Now you'll notice I have a border around both of my objects and I can move both of them at the same time. That's pretty cool, especially when you have a lot of objects on the page. So you can group them into one group. And I can now rotate this as one group. Very cool. I know, I know. Um, if I want to ungroup them, so I just right click again, go back to the grouping option, and I say ungroup. And now they're back and ungrouped. Easy. Yes, I know. Now, here is something I wanted to show you. Let's go to the next page. Remember I spoke in a previous video about having an image behind the text? Here it is. As you can see, no matter what I do, I cannot get my uh, cursor to select uh, my mouse, sorry, to, to select this image. It's well behind the text. That's why we have a selection tool. Super cool, guys. Here I am in my home tab. Look at my editing group, okay? Select, and I can say select all, select objects, or I can open up a selection pane. I'll show you the two options here that we can use. The select objects, I'm gonna click on that, and you'll see that my mouse stays uh, an arrow now. And I can go, and I can click, and I can select the object, because text is not an object, but the picture behind the text is an object, and I can click on it, and I can then move it wherever I'd like it to go. So that's one way of doing it. Okay, that's cool. I can also do the following. I can go and click Select, and open up a selection pane. Very handy if you have lots of objects on a page. There you can see I have a thing called Picture 3. If I click on it, it's the image. I can also give this a name. Now that's pretty cool. Remember this when you work in PowerPoint, guys. Very, very handy. Okay, so there it is, the phone object. It's visible. I can toggle it and make it invisible. All right. And I can simply click on the phone, and I'm now able to click and move it wherever I want it to go. All right. Watch what happens if I go up to my other page. Here I am on page one. And you can see I've got two objects here. Remember, I'm on Select, Selection, Pane. I've got two objects here, and I can click on any one of those or hold down my Shift key and click, and sorry, Control key and click over there. Control is for this one. I don't know why Shift didn't work, but it doesn't. Control, and I've got them both selected. So instead of clicking here, I'm using my Selection Pane to do that. And I can, of course, show them or hide them as I need to, or click on one, there it is there, and I can give them names, I can call that phone, not phone, phone, <laughs> there we go, phone, or um, robot, all right, if you're hearing the noise behind me, um, somebody just went to the loo and they flushed, joy, 
Okay, there you go. So that's the selection pane, grouping and ungrouping and rotating. I think we got it all sorted.